Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer on Friday the 2nd of October. My name is the Reverend Paul Lavender. I'm the Senior Pastor of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. Thank you for joining me today on this very cold and wet day. And I know that in different parts of the United Kingdom there are severe weather warnings for today. So I do trust that you keep well and safe. Also want to encourage you to obey all the current restrictions with regards to COVID-19. Um, it's all too obvious that if people don't do that at the moment, then they're likely to fall foul, not just of the law, but of the disease itself. So please look after one another and encourage one another to do the very best that you can. And so to protect other people and to save lives. So as we come to pray together today, let's bow our heads as we pray and remember the presence of the Lord with us now. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evildoers assail me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foes, they stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war rise up against me, yet will I be confident. One thing I asked of the Lord that I will seek after, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For he will hide me in his shelter in the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. He will set me high on a rock. Now my head is lifted up above my enemies all around me, and I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry aloud, be gracious to me and answer me. Come, my heart says, seek his face. Your face, Lord, do I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger, you who have been my help. Do not cast me off, do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. If my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not give me up to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and they are breathing out violence. I believe that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Thanks be to God for his word. Let us pray. Father, we need your help to fight our sins. We need your help to stop us saying or doing hurtful things. Please bless us with the constant presence of your Holy Spirit so that we can live clean and honest lives. Show us how to make amends for any hurt we've caused. Grant us the courage to say sorry. Give us the grace to forgive others that we may be forgiven and be able to forgive ourselves. Your love comforts us. Father, you're our strength and our song, our peace and our freedom and our joy. So forgive us, we pray, for being slow to do good, for being deceived by the passing values of this world, for having a weak hold on those things which are eternal, and glibly blaming and criticising others. Give us your pardon, your liberty. Help us not to be slaves to insecurity, doubt or guilt, but to claim your promises as we confess our sin. The Bible says if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So may Almighty God forgive you, pardon and deliver you from all your sin, give you time to amend your life, and bring you the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. In reading through 
a section of the book of Acts. Today we read from chapter 11 and begin to read at the 19th verse. Now there were those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen and travelled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch and they spoke the word to no one except Jews. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists also proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God he rejoiced and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion for he was a good man full of the Holy Spirit and the faith and a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they met with the church and taught a great many people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Thanks be to God for his word. You will notice that we pray most days for open, the Ministry of Open Doors, which is a ministry amongst persecuted Christians throughout the world. Persecution has been the lot of Christians from the very beginning. It's important to remember that. It's not a recent phenomenon at all. But here, as a result of the persecution, what happens? Christians flee for their lives and go to live in different parts of the Roman Empire and the church spreads Christian influence spreads Barnabas is sent from Jerusalem this is the first time we encounter him um, and he goes to check out that what's happening here in Antioch is in fact the work of the Lord and I'm certainly not saying that we should be seeking out persecution but it is interesting that here, when people, in a sense, have nothing to rely on other than God himself, then what we see is the grace of God at work and people coming to faith. If we want to see more of the generosity, God's riches at Christ's expense, grace coming to work in our lives then sometimes we need to come to the end of our resources to find that we're only just beginning to discover how great are the blessings that God has in store for those who love him and it's interesting that Barnabas is sent to a place where there's evidence of the grace of God and the work of the Spirit and he is described as a good man full of the Holy Spirit and of faith and a great many people were brought to the Lord. And that's a challenge for me as a pastor. I hope it's a challenge for you too. That if we want to see people come to faith, then we certainly need to have more people, women and men, who are good, full of the Holy Spirit, and full of faith. And there, from those who were first described as followers of the way, they're now called Christians. That's not just... Um, a pleasant description it was um, almost describing them as a cult but there is a link between what they're doing and what people know of the character of Jesus Christ and I would just simply ask as I close this morning is there a link between the way you live your life what other people see and the character of Jesus Christ let's confess our faith together and we use the words of the Apostles Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, so often we ask you for your forgiveness, but we are slow to forgive others. We can find many reasons for our sinfulness, excuses, circumstances that seem to lessen our guilt. But help us to be willing to understand others who we find offensive, those who cause us distress or those who infuriate us, so that we may come to forgive them as much as we want to be forgiven by you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we pray for Christians in Syria and for church leaders as they need to obey COVID-19 restrictions and still wish to meet the growing needs of their people spiritually, financially, physically and emotionally. We pray that they will be a source of blessing to their communities and that they will act wisely in all their dealings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And then we continue to pray, as we have done all week, for the work of BMS World Mission in Albania. And in praying for Matt and Suzanne Gregory, who leave BMS after 18 years of service, we pray for them and their family, particularly for their children, Seth and Esther, as they return to the UK. Lord, bless them with wisdom, and particularly as they adjust to life here in the UK. We ask that they will um, readapt and reintegrate Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Then we pray for ourselves and for those we know and love in the moment of quiet prayer. O oh God of peace, Cause us to rejoice in you always. Make us gentle to everyone. Keep us from being anxious about anything. Help us to ask you for what we need with thanksgiving. So that your peace may guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. By the prayers of Jesus, Lord, teach us to pray. By the grace of Jesus, Lord, teach us to give. By the labours of Jesus, teach us how to work. By the love of Jesus, Lord, teach us how to love. And by the cross of Jesus, Lord, teach us how to live. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you, to remain with you and with those whom you love, to be God's people everywhere today and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me for prayer today. God bless you, keep you safe. And uh, please continue to pray for one another. And if you're able to, please continue to pray for me. Till we meet again tomorrow. Goodbye and God bless.